What's happening, everybody? Michael, the photographer who doesn't give a crap about his job here! Alright, stop, stop, stop! This should be illegal. Photographing people as ugly as you should be illegal. What the hell did you just say? You heard me. I became a photographer because I thought I was going to get to take pictures of swimsuit models. You know, hot people. Instead of stuck here looking at your ugly mug, taking pictures of you, and you have no reason to be all offended. You know, if anything, I should be offended. I should also be a little PO'd. You could have cracked the lens on my camera. And my god, I'm looking at the pictures I took. You look horrible. Like, there is no amount of lighting in this universe that could make you look good. The sun could be in this room right now, and it still would not be enough. You are so fucking fugly. Yes, two fuckings before that ugly. One fucking just was not enough. There has got to be tons of photographers out there that think all that stuff as they're taking pictures. What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Brooks, and welcome back to NASCAR Inside Line Season Mode. Today, we are on to Kansas Speedway. Last week, we ran Texas Motor Speedway, where we got dicked around quite a bit, but we came out of there with a fourth place finish somehow. Looking at the points standings at this point in the season, I... We are currently leading the way. Seven races deep, and we've got seven top ten finishes, baby. Horn taking it up the rear in second place. And then you've got the Nim Weenie Wagon there in third. Dale in fourth. And Jet Dryer Montoya rounds out your top five. I don't know how the fuck he's in sixth. Looking at the rest, currently your top ten in points. There you have it. Jeff Gordon Ramsey plummets. But then you got... Greg Buffel and Chef Boyardee in 12th. He currently has the last chase for the cup spot because no one through 13th through 20th has a win to get themselves into the chase. Hamster has it, but he's got to be in the top 20 in points to use that win. Aerodynamics would be a big factor in Kansas today because I hear it is quite windy down on the Great Plains. So who has the car to get the air to flow over top of it? The best? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. We'll find out who has that arrow now. Let's go! Welcome to America's heartland for Fox Sports coverage of the STP 400 at Kansas Speedway. I'm Mike Joy with Darrell Waltrip. Mike, a very entertaining racetrack to come to. A lot of things in the area right here around the racetrack to go and do. And I tell you the thing that the drivers have got to pay attention to, those big cracks in the racetrack with the dark sealer, you'll see them. They're really, uh, they really upset your race car. You got to be aware of those. Kansas is a mile and a half track, but it's no cookie cutter. It has its own unique challenges. And out here in the Great Plains, they love their stock car racing. Big crowd on hand for today's running. Let's find out who's best in the Midwest. Let's go really fast racing today, boys and girls. Big shot! I qualified terrible. We're underway in Kansas. I swear to you, I am trying in qualifying. I am pushing the car to the absolute limit. I'm trying to go fast. It feels like... Of course. I don't have anything to say. It feels like I'm going so fast in these qualifying efforts that little bits of the car should start flanking away on re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere. But now, I'm still beat by like two seconds every qualifying run. Can someone explain it to me? Fucking piss. Bullshit. They're building me bullshit cars. I have to struggle to get these top ten finishes each and every week. It's no cakewalk, baby. It's no freaky cakewalk. You know what a cakewalk is? You walk around in a circle inside a table of cakes, and then when they stop playing the music, you stop and you take the cake that you're standing in front of. That's what a cakewalk is. It's really easy. But driving these cars isn't. If anything, this is like a freaking cactus walk. You're walking around in a circle with 
all the tables around you, they got cactuses on them. And then the music is playing. When the music stops, you just got to throw your fucking body onto one of the cactuses. Granted, I never do the practice sessions ahead of time. I never do. I don't got time for that shit. I want to race. I want to go vroom, vroom, vroom. Maybe I would gain something from the practices. But hey, why don't you not hit the wall? You're a goddamn professional. You shouldn't act like such an idiot all the time. I bet you it was bushy. I'm sure I could gain something from practicing, but practice? I don't want to waste my time on practice. I want to go, man. I could just loosen it up on the first pit stop, so it's not that big of a deal. I just, I need something to complain about. Why the fuck is your back bumper empty? Do you not have Ford sponsorship anymore? God. Damn, that's tight. See, that's what I get for making fun of him losing his Ford deal. He's driving a fucking car he built in his garage over the weekend. Meanwhile, my back bumper has a bow tie so big I could swim in it. We're gonna have to make pit stops soon. Like, real soon? Like, they're making their stops now? I'm not gonna stop yet because I think it's kind of stupid. I don't know what the hell you're doing. You're probably the one that hit the wall before. Let's be real. I'm gonna push it until I can't push it. No more, because you can't trust these people. They could end up wrecking really? I mean, they drove it into the fence. So what's stopping them from wrecking each other? I'm gonna stay out, push a couple more laps, and, and then, then I'll, I'll, I'll consider coming in. We'll bring this big piece of shit down pit road this time. I'm honestly surprised. We got green flag pit stops. That shit never happens when I'm on the track. I gotta remember not to speed, and I gotta remember that the braking system they have in this car absolutely sucks. So I don't I don't wanna be speeding. I think I'm gonna be good. Slow down a little bit more. You're good. You're good. You did it, Jermichael. Good job. I made some wholesale changes to this big piece of shit. You know, I don't what? Okay. I told you something was coming. Is that old man Bushy? Whoa, where, where the hell are y'all going? Did you see that? They're all like, whoa! Whoa! And not everybody did that second, whoa! Successfully, old man Bushy there, I think it's him. Clean, clean down giggles. Yeah, fucking controller. You stank pot! Wow. Why the fuck did they pit when they just, uh, Pitted. For some reason, all these jackasses pitted it again. Can they make it from here? I mean, I just came off pit road, so if they can make it from here now, I should be able to make it. Dude, got the Danica up behind us. We've seen what she is capable of. She could come up here and wrangle this shit away from me in a fat old second. I cannot allow her by because if she gets by, man, We'll never see her again. She is just so fast. She's fast because she wrecks everyone. Fuck you! What the hell is this? I don't want to have to get into a tussle with you, the Danica. I was raised better than that. But quite frankly, you're pissing me off! Are we really three wide? Three wide right now? Other way. No, we weren't three wide. I just was making shit up in my head. We are one fucking lap short. If I would have pitted there, would that would have made the difference? If that's the case, man, am I gonna be upset? Fuck you, Ambrose! I was so close to pulling that off. I'm honestly calling some bullshit on this track design. Because look at all of the flags. They're all droopy and limp and flaccid. Them shit should be erect. We're on the Great Plains, goddammit. We're exactly one lap short. Exactly. And I haven't saved nothing. I would have to assume that these two in front of me, because I think we're, we're on the same cycle. Not not like that. They're going to be pitting. I think Chef Boyardee might be pitting right now. Coming in. Oh, he's going the big slow. He's coming in. I'm a little worried about where this race is headed. At least I can drive this fucking jalopy now. Ambrose, do it. 
do it. No balls. Big pussy. Didn't even try to make it. I, I got a lap to make up. I don't I don't know about this. Oh! Well, that changes everything. I don't know if I want to pit here or what. What happened? Oh! oh Strebby! You're gonna get your shit kicked in by a tiger. I feel like I need to pit because I think the game will do something wonky to my fool situation. Everybody's coming in. No, not everybody. Uh oh. I don't know. I came off pit road first, so I honestly don't get how the hell he beat me. Pit crew! What the hell are you doing? We're gonna have four laps to try and wrangle this shit away from Jet Dryer. And my teammate, Jeff Gordon Ramsay! Jeff Gordon Ramsay's only top 10 this season? Alright, he just doesn't want to win. The whole season to this point was his win at Phoenix. Other than that, no top 10s. I don't know about Jet Dryer here, but I'm looking to pass him in a minute. I'm sending it up here. We're going to make this high lane work. I'm going to make this high lane my bitch. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at the, the moves. Oh, oh, oh. You thought you were going to hit me? Well, I'm so fast, I, I got out of the way of your punches before you could land the blow. Oh, my God. I haven't caused the single. Well, no, wait. Did I cause one? I caused the first one. The one with men. But after that, I haven't done the dingus. Look at, look at this. This is all those idiots in the back. Fourth wise man, you should have avoided that. That's not very wise to just drive into booby that way. Motherfuck, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not pitting. I don't understand why so many of these jackasses pit like every time there's a caution. Green, white, checkered, bitch. I don't know if this will be the only attempt with the way these guys are driving. Could very well have another attempt and if that's the case, I'll still beat him! I can't remember if I said this before that last caution, if I actually got the opportunity. I don't really remember. My brain don't work that good. It's kind of fuzzy. But this is like the first time I adjusted the car to where it was actually fast and like where I could keep up with everybody. Usually... The stuff I do makes it better, but never this good. Let's get this stuff. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Block him. You, you guys ain't fucking getting this. What is this, Watkins Glen? Where the fuck you think you're going? Where you think you're going, Haas? No, I don't think so. No darn. We'll steal a semi victory. Only a championship in 2012. Yeah! Kansas! I fucking love you! Yeah! Ah, you're the man! You're damn right I am. Again with this pathetic victory lane. Like, you just got Jemite hopping up and down like a freaking wacko. Like, he just got let out of the mental institution. Everybody's just like... All right, let's let's play it up for him. He's insane. Let's make him feel good. Why is Jemite jumping up and down and we're just all it's awkward it's weird and it kind of makes me cringe you want the top 10 well i got it for you here it is 11th through 20th 21st through 30th 31st through 40th. Who gives a fuck? I don't know what the hell happened to the AI that race. They must have been hitting the peppermint stops a little bit early this year. Take a look at the points. Before we end this video, we damn near have a hundred points on Horny. He still is second in points. Somehow. I'm not really 100% certain how, but he is and now we'll check out who is currently... Oh, you dropped on seven spots. God and Hamster loses a spot, so he's even further away from the top 20. He needs that top 20 if he wants to use that win to get into this chase. But the way it sits right now is the Rhinestone Cowboy would currently bump out Darb from the chase with his win, with his wild card spot. So he would get the final spot right now if it were to start. But we still got 18 races left till the chase starts. That's half the season. 
I'm done. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love all y'all. Eh. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!